click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. Here we are with chapter 5 of Microwave Engineering, Avalanche Transit Time Devices we are dealing with. In this family, we are already addressed the read diode and the impact diode. Impact diode standing for the impact ionization avalanche transit time diode. Upon understanding the basic principle of operation, we have solved problem number one in the previous video. Now let us have a problem number two. A problem statement with respect to the impact diode is given to us. There it is. An impact diode has a drip length of 2 micrometer. Determine in the part A the drip time of the carrier. In the part B the operating frequency of the diode. To see the problem statement it is very short and straightforward. Only one value is given to us. The value given to us that it is drip length that is of 2 micrometers. Now the drip length for the impact diode that has a bulk representing the diode body like this has the length capital L from one terminal to another terminal. So here we can say that L is equal to 2 micrometer is equal to 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meters here. Now we have to make computation of drift time for the carrier in the part A and the operating frequency in the part B here. Now with respect to this impact diode, the solution can be obtained by making the use of one formula. In this formula, the frequency F is related with the time here by 1 upon tau is tau, where tau is the transit time denoted here. Now further the frequency is related with the drift velocity and the specimen length here by the relation F is equal to drift velocity VD by twice capital L. Therefore for computation of the time here in the part A we can have a simple formulation from the above that it is tau is equal to L divided by VD here. Now in the given problem statement we are being provided with the value of L is equal to 2 micrometer but VD is not provided here. So in this case we can assume the value of VD. So the drift velocity we take to the value of 10 raised to the power 5 centimeter per second the typical value for the impact diode here. Now we can make the use of drift velocity and the specimen length finally obtaining the value of tau in terms of seconds here. So by the next step we express tau is equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 replaced in terms of the device length L here. In the denominator we express 10 raised to the power phi u into 10 raised to the power minus 2 to get it converted into meters per second here. Therefore, we get it simplified to the form 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 into 10 raised to the power minus phi u into 10 raised to the power plus 2 here. So, this gets to the answer 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 minus phi u it will become minus 11 plus 2 it will be minus 9 here. So, in the SI units of measurements, we shall be putting the unit to be seconds for this drift time here. So I outline this particular answer. This completes the competition for part A. So here we are back to the problem statement. We are completed with part A and now we require the value of operating frequency of the impact diode. Now the operating frequency of the impact diode can be obtained in the part B by making a simple formulation that frequency is equal to 1 upon twice tau, tau being the drift time here. 
the tau just now we have calculated as answer for part a the answer can be readily used to get input in this particular formulation therefore we keep 1 divided by 2 into the tau value here it is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 here so this makes 1 upon 4 into 10 raised to power minus 9 this gives us 0 0.25 into 10 raised to power plus 9 and therefore as this is the frequency the SI units is hertz here getting 10 raised to the power 9 absorbed into the multiplication coefficient here we can represent 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 into 1 we can represent gigahertz finally f can be represented as 0 0.25 gigahertz that has been outlined in this representation so here we are completed with computations of the drip time and the operating frequency for the given impact diode by the next lecture the another popular device that is trapped plasma avalanche transit time device trapped diode we are going to address in the next video so I hope you are getting the details of microwave engineering very well. For more information and knowledge regarding this subject, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.